from Bushu Shitsu that makes you understand to use a lot less and have a lot more in terms of results. And evidently, man, on the beginning of everyone joining Jiu Jitsu, I say, how was your training? Oh, very exhausting. What did you learn? I have no idea. Just use everything you had. If you ask a higher belt, how was your training? Man, I have a couple good moves that I was able to put in everyone that I wrestled, I trained with. You understand? Yeah. It's not physically, oh, how was your training? Oh, my energy is good. Mm -hmm. No. You should always be able to have a reserve. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Especially when you train. I understand in a tournament you put everything in five minutes, six, seven minutes. At the school, you're going to be training for an hour and a half. Just got to train smart. Mm -hmm. Okay? Sir. It's all about the control. Why, why people are in a hurry? I'm in your guard. There's no manual say, I have to pass your guard. No, I have to survive in your guard. Let you come after me. I'm just blocking, doing the position. Then you, you're running, and I'm just not moving. Mm -hmm. Then when you stop running, now we are walking. OK, now I can go. You're running, I'm not running. Understand? Yes, sir. But if you're not in the high, you want to run with the other guy, somebody's going to get tired first. I don't want be, me to get tired first. It's more how you apply what you know right now. Okay, I'm going to stay still, be patient, and let the other guy run. Yes, sir. That's why I think the more you understand how to defend yourself, the longer you can train with anybody. The idea is, my belief is, I can train with anybody. You mount me, good for you. You're not going to get me. I take my back, you're not going to get me. Self-control, I'm going to get out self-control. That's my belief of practicing my defense, to be always sharp in a way to, and not only mentally make the other guy go like, man, I mount, I take the back, I do everything, I can't finish. Now the question is, if I mount you, do you know how to defend that well too? If I get side control on you, do you know how to get out that well too? But putting people in a bad position and let, let them have a hard time. A lot of times in the beginning, we get a good position and we go for another one right away. Not even give a chance, they got to have a reaction. Oh, I'm moving this, no. Enjoy it. Yeah, look at the guy and say, okay, man, you gotta, you gotta get out because I'm not moving now. And you notice that on his attempt, he's getting tired. And maybe his attempt, I even get a better position now. Now it was bad, now it's worst. And you're still even fresh. And the other guy like, man, I haven't started the training and I'm already tired. Okay? Sorry. But you base your training. The technique never fails. The strength will fail a lot on you. That's for sure. Oh, I have no energy. But you have the technique. I have fever. You have the technique. I have a headache. You still have the technique. No matter what. OK? Sir. Thank you. Yes. See, a couple of minutes you guys come up with all these <laughs> situations, man. To get, uh, uh, like once I get my knee shield, I can get an arm bar. So I'm good. So I'm good. Uh -huh. If you stand up and then use your knee to push my your yeah. elbow. Yeah. So what should I do here for pressure? Should I go for a sweep instead? No, or no. Is there you can else? have you can have this. But what I'm gonna should do is imagine now your arm holding your jacket, your right arm. Now your left hand hugs your elbow like this. Now the key thing is, I'm like this, I want to do this. Facing that way now. Yes, you understand? Uh -huh. Keep the pressure down. Yes, you put, put, bring your elbow down. One more time. Because if you're still facing me, just hold his arm, hold your gi, hold your gi, here. Now hold your elbow, slow. Imagine I bring your elbow like this. You're gonna have, you're gonna unbar Nick. The problem now, Nick has the knee in to push your elbow, right? Yes, yes. Go back. Now imagine 
I'm moving, see, I'm moving like this. Move your hip towards me. Yes, yeah, see, he's off balance. He's not able to use the leg anymore. You understand? Yes, sir. But if I stay there, he's gonna use his leg. So even if I'm facing that way, just use, use that same grip, grab my same collar. Grip. So don't, don't do this. You way. can do this, yes, sir. but when you do this, go ahead. Now, if you go the other way, roll that way. Look what happened to his arm. Nick, can you move your arm? No. You understand? It's now hold your gi. Hold your gi. You tell me if it is tight or not. Hold your arm. Big oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, for sure. Nick already feel right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can, you understand? I can tell. Yes, like you put a sleeve, okay. a glove on his arm. Yes, sir. Okay. But all you did, you just transfer his weight that way that he's, he's off balance. Okay. Yes, okay? Perfect. Thank you.